Friends, today through this video, we will learn how connection of three-phase winding in induction motor is done, first in star and second in delta. Friends, we already know that in any three-phase motor, six terminals are there which are named as U1, U2, V1, V2 and W1, W2. There are three windings in three-phase motor. We named these coils of windings like first coil named as U1 and U2, second coil as V1, V2, third coil as W1, W2. If we want to run the motor in star connection, then W2, U2 and V2, we short these terminals. Now with U1, V1 and W1 terminal, if we connect phase supply, then our motor starts running. If we want to connect motor in delta, then we connect U1 terminal with W2 V1 with U2 and W1 with V2 terminal. In this way, we short motor terminals and connect motor winding in star or delta. We use this type of connection for DOL starter. If we want to run the motor through star delta starter, then to connect motor winding in star or delta, we use contactor. To run any motor, we connect three phase power supply with incoming terminals. Now if we want to control this motor, then in series to power supply, we connect a contactor so that it can control the power supply. The contactor through which we control the power supply to motor, we call this as main contactor. To connect motor winding in delta, we use a contactor. Now at the terminals of this contactor, winding terminals which are there, W2, U2 and V2, from these we connect wires and connect these with terminals of contactor. Now with main incoming power supply, we have to connect three wires and connect these wires directly with incoming terminals of this contactor. Contactor which we use to connect motor winding in delta, we call this as delta contactor. Now if we turn on delta contactor, then motor winding is connected in delta connection. When contactor is in off condition, then power supply will remain till here and here. But when we turn on contactor, then power supply flows further and it starts the motor. Friends, right now motor is running in delta connection. So now let's turn off the motor. Now to connect motor winding in star, we will use one more contactor. We call this contactor as star contactor. For the connection of star contactor, we just need to connect three wires with the output terminal of delta contactor and connect these three wires with star contactor as shown in the diagram. Upper side terminals of star contactor here, we short these terminals with each other. So star connection here is completed. When we press start push button of star delta starter, then first of all star contactor operates. Star contactor operates first so that motor winding get connected in star first. When star contactor is operated, after some milliseconds, main contactor is turned on. Now motor is turned on in star connection. When motor reaches its 80% speed, then timer turn off the star contactor and it turn on delta contactor instantly. Now motor runs continuously in delta connection. Friends, if you want to know the difference between star connection and delta connection in detail, then click on the right hand side video to watch. Friends, I hope you like this video. Please do like, share and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.